right? Now come to the medial side. I told you on medial side, what is there? The, if this is here, as it is going medial, it open up. What is this? This is making floor of, now this sliding point, this is making floor of inguinal canal. What is it? It is making floor of the inguinal canal. So, I will make it here now. From here we cut upward, so this is, it has made a groove, right? It means folding is little open. Now this grooved part of inguinal ligament, upper part of, rather I should say, this grooved part of superior aspect of medial side of the inguinal ligament, it is extremely important because the few things which have to come here and few things which have to go out, okay. I will make it that few things which have to go out, I should not block it. The few things should come into canal like a baby take a slide and then go out from here. Right? Now, if there's something coming out here, let me show that in our gallery, if we have shown it somewhere. Okay, I will show it myself. Now what is happening? Actually, on the back, this tunnel, there are some babies in abdomen. Just think of some little babies. They want to enjoy this slide. They should find, they are inside the stomach. Those little babies want to enjoy that tunnel or groove as a slide which is present in medial part of the ligament. But as those structures are present inside the abdomen, they should find some way to reach to the groove. It means that this slide should have some back window. It should have some back window, posterior window, which is opening in the abdominal cavity. You know what was here? Fascia transversalis. Before that, I should say these were the muscles, and then there was fascia transversalis. Now, what happens? Actually, there is a window here. There is a window in the posterior wall. From where? From that window, the baby will come. Right? And then these babies will slide, 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 slide. And then here is okay. There should be another window here. Right? And this end should come here. And this end should go there. And this baby, okay, this is the slide, right? Now, what will happen? Okay, I'm showing these uh, red colored because black marker is not cooperative. These babies are coming, 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 and from here they come out. Look there. They are so happy. What is this here? 
it means there's a tunnel inside it but th this tunnel opens medially medially and outward this baby will fall out and I think it depends on what they will find there it depends on its female or male right the structures are a little different right but these are babies it doesn't matter to them so what I'm saying there's a window which opens to abdominal cavity there's a window which is opening interiorly just above the what is this just above the opening is from pubic tubercle to pubic symphysis of course it is present on both sides this opening should be present on this side too right and tunnel should be coming here also this is and here should be posterior window both sides right and this will also open up here and they are coming from there now I'll tell you what are these structures now this is back window and this is front window in between that there is interior abdominal wall in between the two windows there is interior, interior abdominal wall lower most medial most part of interior abdominal wall here what is this lower most and medial most part of anterior abdominal wall right so this tunnel is through the wall a floor is made by superior grooving structure of inguinal ligament right so in within the anterior abdominal wall right there's a secret tunnel we call it inguinal canal this secret tunnel is the secret slide for those baby which are inside the abdomen they should find the back window slide the inguinal canal and reach out in the pubic region right of course under the skin right in the pubic region uh, please don't confuse that woman give birth to babies like this this is just a, a symbolic examples that there are some anatomical structures they have to enter from posterior aspect of lower medial abdominal wall they have to traverse through a canal which is within the wall and then that oblique canal which extend from posterior window to interior window this canal as we grow up it becomes elongated 3 to 4 centimeter and as you move from lateral to medial it moves downward and right slightly anteriorly so laterally and little superiorly back window is opening into abdominal cavity and when you move from here to here right then more medially and slightly anteriorly this window and interior window is opening right canal that is why inguinal canal is said to be having two openings one opening this which is an abdominal opening to the abdominal cavity this is called deep ring deep inguinal ring and then this is inguinal canal floor of the inguinal canal uh, later on we will have a full lecture on inguinal canal and its structures how it is made but I'm just showing what is the role of a very intimate relationship of inguinal ligament with the inguinal canal as medial part of inguinal ligament is making the floor of the inguinal canal and 
This is what? Deep inguinal ring. This is deep inguinal ring. ring. And actually, this ring, when structures go through this, they are going through fascia transversalis. When from inside out you are moving in the abdomen, right? The structures have to, those babies which were inside the abdomen, they have to move this. These are fish. They initially find a little hole in fascia transversalis, which is the inner lining of anterior abdominal wall. And through that little opening, they slip. Slip into which? Canal. Inguinal canal. Then they glide downward and little forward and medially. And they will be ejecting at what is this? Superficial inguinal ring. So this is deep inguinal ring and here is superficial inguinal ring and through this it is coming. 